Hi, my name is Art and welcome to another Bumpy video. And today's video will be another car spotting video. And this time I actually have some right hand drive goodness for you, a JDM Nissan Figaro. But before jumping into this particular Figaro, I would like to give some background on the Figaro itself. The Nissan Figaro is part of the so-called Pikes cars, and these cars were produced by the Nissan Pike factory that produced limited production runs of Nissan cars. All Pikes cars, the B1, the PAL, the S-Cargo and the Figaro were based upon the Micra platform and all of them were retro styled. The Figaro features the styling of a 50s Italian car and to be more precise, the Auto Bianchi Bianchina Transformabile. And if you squint your eyes, you can see the unique half open top of the Bianchina to be exactly the same shape as the one on the Figaro. And in case you were wondering where you actually have seen the Bianchina Transformabile before, well, Lucy drives one in the second Despicable Me movie. And I really wonder why she stuffs Gru on top of the engine which is mounted in the rear. And now more about the Figaro itself. A little bit more than 20,000 Figaros have been built and a Dutch Figaro specialist claims that they have imported over 200 of them already into the Netherlands. And that means that 1% of the total Figaro production retroactively ended up in the Netherlands. Yes, you heard that correctly. More than 1% of all Figaros ended up here. You are four times more likely to encounter a Figaro in the Netherlands than A86. Now how did that happen? Well, after the Figaro was shown in a reality soap a few years ago as the car of a wife of a famous Dutch singer, a lot of other celebrities wanted one. And even Caris van Houten did a photo shoot with the Figaro. And after this, the Figaro market was basically booming. Now back to this particular Figaro. I found this Figaro parked in a posh shopping street in my hometown and you can clearly see that it's a posh area with all the Audis, Volvos and the Rolls Royce Ghost parked in the street. The license plate has been handed out somewhere in the past two years. According to the RDW register it says that the first Dutch owner only recently acquired it in early September 2017. So this car was probably imported a few years ago then put aside by the Figaro specialist in their stock. And I was also able to find it inside their stock listing and it seems to be a high mileage car from the UK. And even though it has been driven many miles, it's actually in excellent condition. The only eyesore I could find was that the original Polo wheels have been replaced by a set of aftermarket alloy wheels. Now since I live in a media city of the Netherlands called Hilversum, also known as Hollywood, could this actually be another one of those celebrity cars? That's it for this video, thank you for watching and in the meanwhile here are some other cars that I spotted recently in the past few weeks. If you have any cars you have spotted you can leave that in the comments below or if you have pictures of them send them to me via email or Instagram.